we are right guys, as promised, a um, little bit of chilli potting on today. Not too bad germination with this lot, the first lot. These were sown on the, we have a look at my crib sheet. Uh, 9th of January. Yeah, I've got, I've got enough for what I need anyway, that's what matters, isn't it? I mean, some of them, they, some of them have got a bit shriveled, they will burn. But anyway. Okay, so first up we have number 15, Anaheim. Now they were nice last year, so I'm going to do three of them. Number 15. Um, just that rubbish compost again. It'll be alright, it'll be alright. This won't be their final mix. And as I come across Sherwood Forest, I'm just throwing the bits away. Silly Billy, let's label it first. 15, that's three of them. I'll tell you what, this Mars Hydro light up here that you can't see, it's quite handy for putting things on when it's not turned on. I've got my paper up there, brush, pen, masking tape, or as electricians call it, we used to call it, I don't know if we still do, phase tape. Nice root system. I'm going to put these a little bit deeper than what they should be. But they're not leggy by any uh, stretch of the imagination. This is going to be a little bit on the quick side today because that wind is building up out there. And what I've done, I've just put um, a load of paracord around the outside of the greenhouse and tied it up as tight as I can just in case. I lost, um, was it this one? Yeah, this one and that one there last time. But what I've done, I'm not relying on the um, uh, greenhouse clips, the um, twin, twin wall polycarbonate. I'm not relying on the clips. Just, uh, what I've <laughs> so what I've done I've um, glued it all in with a Gorilla, Gorilla sealant. God, I'm talking, I forgot to put the bloody mycorrhizal in, have I? A little bit of mycorrhizal, a little bit. There we go. So, some of these pots are on their last legs. I've had them quite a few years, but I'm just going to uh, see them out to the end of their days. Right, so that was number 15, Anaheim. Number 16, my favourite basket of fire. And we've got a few of them, so I'm going to do four of them if I can. One, two, three. And we've got four growing, so fantastic. I'm going to label them all up first this time. I'll tell you what, these agrolands, they certainly help. No um, root damage when you're... I suppose it is still pricking out, or is it or is it potting on? It's potting on really, isn't it? Because you're not actually disturbing the soil. So I suppose it's potting on. Yeah. A little bit on the dry side at the moment, but I prefer them like that when I'm potting on. If they're too wet, sometimes you sort of strip the compost off the strip the compost off the roots. God, I don't know. I'll tell you what, the next lot I'm gonna to have to sieve this. And these are gonna go back in the Vitapod upstairs. I've not flashed up the downstairs one yet, the one in the shed. 
I can't see any point in having that one on when the other one upstairs that's in a warm house anyway is um, underutilised so there's no point warming the shed up for nothing thrifty Steve <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed but um, some compost mixes these days are coming with built-in mycorrhizal which is all very well unless you're using it for like brassicas which doesn't um, brassicas kill my <laughs> kill mycorrhizal fungi 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 if I was more efficient at this I'd do them both at the same time that's better wind picking up 50 mile an hour gust today right the rest of them I've got cayenne there these little tiny ones in the center yeah nice looking ones they are habanero red oh they should be nice and warm then we got some jalapenos the chef's favorite um golden cayenne and the onivec onivec however you say it they were good last year so I'm going to do all these and I'll bring you back when I've finished all right guys well that's round one over uh, most of them are upstairs I've got a few just here waiting to go up to the Vitapod and on the second Agriland now now what we got here make it a bit of paper again sorry Ooh, aubergine Turkish orange aubergine white casper I'm going to take two of those no show whatsoever on the patio fire chilies and the long red Marconi I'm not surprised about the long red Marconi the seeds quite old rooster spur look at that lot and these are the ones that are so hard to pick <laughs> those little dinky little tiny little peppers and we got a couple of um, spaghetti chilies and as their name suggests they're long and they are let me broken the leaf off anyway so I've got two of those that'll do so two 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 six and I'm gonna do six of them so 12 pots needed should have enough compost there and I'll bring some more in to uh, dry out pretty soon I'm going to have to hurry up because this wind is picking up and I need to tighten up the paracord around the greenhouse don't know if you can see it just like there you see the paracord was right on the outside just stops the panels blowing out the panels blow out because of a difference in pressure between the inside of the greenhouse and the outside of the greenhouse bit of wind gets in forces the panels out if you can hold the panels in which I've done with like I said gorilla adhesive silicon sealers all sorts and the paracord I mean this panel now can't blow out because it's been held by the cord it can flex but it can't it can't blow that I don't know what's it what's needed 50 mil 50 mil to pop it out and as soon as I get out of here I can tie the door up as well and that's about flapping around there we are all popped up this is the older model Agrolan the grey one the green one is um, oh, recycled plastic etc and the, the mechanism's a little bit different on the side and to be honest I prefer this one when I finish this compost I'm going to wash the bits I've picked out just to show you how bad it is Let's see what we got. Two good ones, a good one. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Little star. <laughs> see, I don't, I don't mind this sort of thing if it's in big container pots. But it's not, it's in little tiny poxy little three inch thingies. And my aubergines ain't gonna grow. The mycorrhizal needs to get onto the roots because there's no point having it if it don't touch the roots initially. Because what it does, it forms a symbiotic relationship with the plant via the roots. 23. Trying a few different aubergines this year. I mean, I did uh, black pearl and um, what's the other one I came up with? All's bearer. Three. Nice, very, very nice, very nice. But if you don't try something different, you'll never know what else is out there. Oh, 
Oh, I tell you what, I've got to show you. I'll show you in a minute. No, I'll show you now while I remember. Hang on. This is the junk so far. Can't even find it now. Here we are. Here it is. Piece of wire. Rusty old. Yeah, rusty old wire. I mean, if you didn't have gloves on that, you know, that could blow and hurt you. But I'm being extra careful because I know this is rubbish. Right, I'll do for them. Peppers to go, and um, I'll bring you back in a minute. Well, there we are. That's the last of them. Got to do some more sew-ins, but these are going to go upstairs in the Vitapod, like I said. And um, I'll show you up there in a second. I'm going to have to delay the tour of the massive greenhouse. Because I've got to shut this door. It's going to blow away in a minute, I'm sure of it. <clears throat> and here they are in the Vitapod. Uh, four don't fit, so I'm going to have to get the other one going anyway. But I'll leave them in the window so for now. Play. Roll on chillies.